Hello, we have your gecko. We need $2.4 million to Paris. My gecko? $2.4 million to Paris? Man, dude, I don't got that type of money. I spent it all on freaking geckos. But what you should know is I got a very special select set of skills. Select set of skills. And I don't mind the use of, you know, the rangers? You know the seals, bud? Why any of those? But I am gonna get my gecko back, bud. Gecko Team 6, roll out! Actually, bro, on second thought, we don't want that smoke. You can take it back. Boom! Slam! Another one down! Now we gotta go and we're doing another video for you guys today. I got a lot of special things for you, like always. I know I didn't post one last week. I'm very sorry about that. I was dealing with gecko problems, man. But other than that, check out the tank. Just plants for now, but I got something coming very special at the end of the month. It got pushed back a couple weeks, but it's going to be freaking awesome. I guarantee you guys are going to love our new animal. All right, so one of the fun things that we're going to be doing today is I'm going to show you guys the Serpentarium, where I go to get all my pet stuff. They have a huge selection of stuff. They got a lot of animals to show off, so it's going to be really, really fun. Also, I'm going to show you one of my outside projects. It's been raining over here in California nonstop, absolutely crazy, but it's okay. Project's wet, you guys are gonna see it wet, but when it comes summertime, we're gonna be painting it, we're gonna be getting it all very, very nice for its new inhabitant. Not only that, but we're gonna be talking about a really hot button topic today. I know people don't like to hear it, but we're gonna talk about cohabbing crested geckos. All right, let's follow. All right, you guys, so the rain let up for just a minute, so I came out here to show you our outside project. Check this out. Bam! This thing's so freaking awesome. Look, we got mesh top doesn't come up unless you lift this up a little high box comes up this is going to be so freaking awesome i can't wait till all this wood dries out and i'm able to paint the whole thing first thing i always come to is the clearance section yes they have a clearance section in this pet store that's so awesome they have turtle landings fake plants dishes check this out calcium powder dude i'm taking that that's mine Coming on to one side of their snake rack now, I just wanted to show you guys, I didn't see any snakes out, but I wanted to show you how much foliage they put in their stuff and how much lighting they give all their snakes. Absolutely amazing, locks on everything, super professional, that's the way I like it. All right, coming over to the leopard gecko enclosures, two bioactive setups on top, along with a wide variety of leopard geckos. Let me see, let's see what they got over here. Chinese cave gecko for $299. That's how we do it around here. Now let's see what they got back on this side. I seen something else. Chocolate albino leopard gecko. That's so freaking awesome, $150. So here's that albino bull snake from the last video, you guys. He's still here, $399 plus tax. Look how active he is. He's such a cool little guy. You could tell he's an albino because he has that red eye. All albinos come with red eyes. Check this out. Super, super, super cool. Check this rack out, you guys. Super organized, super presentable. Makes you want to buy everything on it. <laughs> Let's check out some prices, though. These are California prices, so they might be different other places. $17 for bee pollen and $17 for calcium powder. Tortoise food, $25. Now coming on to my favorite part, the plants. Check out this huge selection of plants that they have. Absolutely amazing. Look at all this greenery, different colors, everything to make your terrariums look like the best ones in the world. Check this out. Two levels. They got a fluval light, I'm pretty sure, doing all this. They got bigger ones. They got smaller ones. I know I'm definitely taking a couple plants, and I'll show you them later. Oh my goodness, you guys, check out this milk frog enclosure. Three of them are in here for $99 each. It's got a fogger, everything. That fogger makes it look super. Oh my goodness, look at this guy. Look at this little guy right here. He's so awesome. Quick clip for you tarantula fans. Absolutely amazing. They got baby red foots. $299 each. Oh, check out the little guy. I could only find one though. Now we're coming to the white tree frog exhibit. They got blue eyed and the classics in here, which are awesome. Look at little dude in the corner right there. Then I think, look at this one down here. We got another one with his head in the corner. <laughs> All right, I wasn't gonna put it in this video, but check it out, you guys. Bumblebee dart frogs, and that's exactly what our tadpoles are gonna turn into. I have five of them ready to go, and this is really, really cool because I'm able to show you guys what they're gonna look like at the end of everything. 
check out this little inquisitive guy. He came up to me looking at me like, what up? So I gave him the what up? <laughs> So I came over here hoping I'd be able to show you guys the Rankin's Dragons. Look, you can kind of see them right there, but I've seen them out a lot more than that, and they're so freaking awesome. Man, I didn't even see this little guy. Cuban Knight, an old dude. Look at him. He looks so freaking cool. Look at his little face. My goodness. I've always wanted to step into the Anoles, but I just haven't dipped my foot yet. But let's check out a little side view of them. Wow, absolutely amazing. Check this out, you guys. This is just my little plant enclosure for now. I got the little tadpoles in here so they can get some UVB. But I got this awesome freaking plant right here. It looks fake, but this is real, you guys. This is going to go in probably my dart frog enclosure if I think about it. Then I also got the, this little palm right here. It looks so freaking cool, right? All right, all right, all right. So you guys seen the animals at the Serpentarium, you seen the Serpentarium, freaking awesome, right? But now it's time for something serious. Hot button topic time, cohabbing crested geckos. I feel like Ricky Bobby, I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> but anyway, when it comes down to it, everybody has their own animals. Everybody cares for them differently. You know, I think if you take the gist of every care sheet and put them all together, your animal should be fine. Yeah, there's some things that aren't right and people have opinions, but these are your animals, these are our animals, we all love them and we're all gonna come together as a community and figure out the proper way, you know what I mean? As for cohabbing crested geckos though, this has been going on, people talk about it, they're too scared to talk about it, but us at Doolittles, we're willing to take the dive, man. We're probably gonna catch some flack, but that's fine. I'm a tough guy, it's good, I'm all right. <laughs> anyway, when it comes to cohabbing crested geckos, never males. I would not do males in a million years. There's too much testosterone, there's too much territorial things going on in the tank for you to put two males in the same tank. Now, two geckos, male and female, in an 18 by 18 by 24 works just fine. You could probably even keep them around, uh, keep them in year round. You wanna give her a breeding break though, so I would also suggest that. Anyway, I did a study on my own little experiment. I took a 36 by 18 by 24 right and i called it the gecko mansion right and it was freaking awesome dude like i would still do it the gecko mansion is the sickest thing i took four geckos and i put them in there right all similar sizes for females they have to be similar size i think if you put a really big female in with the really small female that's when things kind of get maybe the smaller one will stop eating because the bigger one is kind of bullying you so in my past experiences I would just do similar sizes. So right now we have two in the same tank. It's an 18 by 18 by 24, two females in the same tank. And they're both 36 grams, no problems. I didn't even have problems in the gecko mansion, which is really, really cool. I was able to have a really big tank with quite a few geckos roaming around. And I never had problems. I would take them out regularly. You're gonna wanna weigh them. You're gonna wanna look over their body. I know it's a lot. Some people have thousands of geckos that they can't even do. But if you're gonna get geckos, you have to take the time to be able to check them over. All these big breeders that are taking geckos and not taking the time to properly look over their gecko, like Petco or anything, they're just selling you those animals. I'm telling you, man, these geckos need a lot more attention than we think. So what I did was every other day, I would take all of them out, I'd weigh them, and then I'd make sure I'd look at their toes, I'd look at their crests, I'd look at everything and make sure there wasn't anything missing or any type of mishap that may have happened, no scars or anything like that. They were all growing fine. They never had a fight or anything. There was no scars, nothing gone. And not only that, but it was really cool having a huge tank with four geckos going around. Now let me tell you how I did this. I did this because I did four geckos, there was about seven food dishes in there. I gave seven because there's some geckos that try to eat out the same food dish and that don't work. So you want them to be able to go very short and access something right there. You know what I mean? It's like perfect, you know? Also, I did a lot of hiding places. I gave a lot of visual barriers. There was so many plants in this thing, you couldn't even tell that there was four geckos in there. So when I do it, I make sure that there's a lot of visual barriers, a lot of food dishes, and like I said, when you bring those geckos out and you're, you're checking them out and everything, give them a little bit of weighing. Make sure that they're growing. 
you know? They might not grow as fast as people think they do, which they don't. Grecos are really slow growers, but when they do start growing, man, they start shooting up like a weed. And I think the best thing is, like I said, keep them at similar weights, a lot of food dishes, and a lot of visual barriers. And you can do your own gecko mansion. And another one bites the dust. Thank you guys so much for coming out supporting Doolittle Exotics. Like, subscribe, and comment. Follow us on IG, Doolittle Exotics. The same thing. We're the only one out here, baby. Now, I want you guys to know that I appreciate everything. If you have a Serpentarium in your city, go to it. Everybody there is super knowledgeable. They know exactly what they're talking about. They'll help you out with anything you got going on. Other than that, I gotta bend down. Ah, Doolittle Reptile Studios out, baby.